welcome to hashtag 13 nights of Samhain. Welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. Join me today as I rock one of the questions for the 13 nights of Samhain. Welcome to October 27. The question is, what traditions or rituals do you practice during Samhain? Well, besides yesterday's question, pumpkin soup is a tradition that we always do. Mushroom foraging for honey mushrooms and red top. So a lot of drying, cleaning, blanching, freezing. Uh, with that, uh, there's a lot of canning involved and I've gotten into some major canning this year. I've gotten into carrot beans and pickles this year. Ooh, new exciting things for me. Um, each year I still, and I'm in Canada, so they celebrate Halloween, the muggles. So I've been dressing up. I've only missed three years of not dressing up and I'm 50 my friends. And one of the times, because I was in Australia, they don't dress up for Halloween there. They have Oktoberfest. They just get right pissed and they don't dress up. It sucks. I was very sad. So I still dress up and I hand out candy. And then after, it just not too many people do it as much anymore, but I still try to keep the light on for as long as I can. So it usually goes till 10 p.m. So after 10 p.m. I take a break hang out, maybe have a glass of wine, grab something to eat, and then the rest of the night is mine. That's a time where I thoroughly enjoy going into my own little world. I throw on some ritualistic music, some of my favorite playlists that I've created, and I go into deep meditative trance. I love journeying on the last night of October. I love journeying on Samhain so much. I, it is, it is psychedelic, it is enhancing, it is incredible, and I love hanging out with the spirits that come through, and this year is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be going, I used to chill out with my uh, uh, recent ancestors that I like to hang out with, there's only a few of them. Um, because some of them are just kind of grumpy gusses and I really don't feel like hanging out with them. So I don't hang out. I don't call for them. Fair enough. And then I was, I was, as I said in another previous video, I'll put it up here, uh, about my DNA ancestors that I hang out with as well as my past life ancestors. But I think I'm going to go with more DNA ancestors this year. So I'm excited to just, you know, screw around and find out, my friends. I just want to get deep and dirty this year and see who I can meet. And I'm going to have to put some extra protection around because even if they're grumpy guesses, I want to meet them. All in all, one thing to make sure you guys should practice too is because you may meet some grumpy guesses so make sure you ask permission get in there set some boundaries set some boundaries with yourself with them they may not want to come out and say hi so i'm not going to push but i do want to say hey man i'm kara just give me a couple seconds of your time if not all right moving on but I really want to go deep and go into some ancestral. I like to go uh, visit more Ireland. There's Irish on both sides of my dad. My dad's got Irish, uh, Welsh, touch of English. My mom's got Irish all the way back. My dad's mom's got Irish all the way back. And then we got some Ukrainian in there too. So I would like to find out our Celtic pagan ancestors. So. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set a clock and each tick of the clock is gonna be a hundred years and I'm gonna go back and see what I can find because I'm a past life regression specialist so why not do this on myself and have some fun again so traditions rituals besides 
canning, carving pumpkins artistically as I possibly can. I need to always try to outdo myself. Oh my gosh. Actually, I wonder if I get time. If I get time, I'll post some pumpkins that I carved. If I get time this year, I got a lot of projects going on. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to share with you. So, uh, one thing I, I do is on just on my personal Facebook group. This is not Pagan Crafting. This is not my old channel, Absolute Tarot. This is just, I used to just dress up in whatever costume I wore. I was handing out candy and I'd go online and I'd read tarot card for friends and for anybody who hopped it. I just did a live reading and I just did card reading. I'd read for a few hours and I, and I started it one, one year and I had an absolute blast. I had people private message me and I was just getting into reading tarot cards out in the open, tarot cards professionally. <laughs> it was really cool and it became a tradition there for a while and I haven't done it in a couple of years so I should probably do that again this year. So after handing out candy, a little bit of me time, a little bit of journeying and I guess I'm gonna have to read some tarot this year. So, uh, different rituals. I don't get into ceremonial magic. I'm very much a little freestylist, so it's going to be all about journeying this, uh, this Samhain here for me. Uh, our next question would be for tomorrow, October 28th. What does Samhain mean to me on a personal level? So join me tomorrow as we go over the next question.